Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name is Dicart, and this is episode 3 of my RimWorld Let's Play. In our last episode, we got our power and freezer set up. In this episode, I'll be working on bedrooms and mining out more area for our freezer. As always, please comment to let me know what you would like to see, and if you notice some improvements I can make. Let's join our colonists, who are hard at work, and see what we can accomplish this episode. Let's see, Felix is out here hunting. You go. Killed me a turtle. Nice job, Felix. Nice to have that freezer. Alright, we can go ahead and extend this stockpile zone just a little bit. Give it a little bit more space. We definitely want people to start making some blocks over here. How's my crafting? I got Felix set up. Of course, he's out hunting. So once he's done hunting, he's going to come in and then he'll start making some stone blocks. That'll be good. Um, so we should think about taking care of our bedrooms then. Let's see. Alright, I am going to... I guess I'll just make a hall right here. I can go on both sides. Um, I'll just continue this down. So we want this. Let's just make it three. And let's go quite a ways down for now. And let's have our first bedroom. Actually, we might be able to just do it up here. Eh. You know what, I'm going to leave a little bit of space just in case. So let's have our first bedroom actually start here, and let's do them... Um, trying to think. Uh, we'll make them small. Uh, pretty simple. Um, so we want a space for a vent and a space for a door. Alright, so another 4x4, four four, two spaces. 4x4, four four, two spaces. And we can do the same thing on this side. And I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it, um, but my reasoning um, doing it this way is I plan to set up a heater and an air conditioner in the entryway, just keeping the hall at a steady temperature, and then I'll put vents into all the rooms um, so that you know, it'll spread the temperature around. Then I can just use like one air conditioner and, I, and one heater every so often down the hallway. Um, again, don't know if that's the best way to do it, but it's the way I've been doing it and it seems to be working. So I will keep my pattern going. Alright, they've already started mining that. That's good. So we are off to a pretty good start. Soon I'm going to have to expand um, my uh, farming. Of course, I've got plenty of rice right now. I have plenty of meat, too. He's been hunting like crazy. Good job, buddy. Felix, you the man. So, how are we doing on food? 15 total? Yeah. Doing okay. What do I got set up here? It's pretty simple. Um, 12 and 12. So, Dev, how come you're carrying stuff instead of cooking? Oh, because it's... No? That doesn't make sense. Hang on. Let me look at this. Fine meal. I wanted 12 fine meals, and I wanted 12 simple meals. Well... It must be total meals. So this must not be 12 fine. It must be 12 total. Because we have over 12 total and they're both locked out. So I'll be curious to see if we get under uh, 12 here. Um, or whatever the... Yeah, under 5 I guess it is. Actually, let's bump that up a little bit. Um, oh, that's what it was. It wasn't our max meals. I'm dumb. It was our min and I had, uh, I had at least five of each type, so they had stopped. That's what it was. So, as usual, it was user error. Not 
game air. I'm pretty used to that. Uh, I might just trim this part down right here too, just to keep it even and get that steel. You know what? I, I'm gonna have to build a wall here anyway, so grab the steel. Um, you know what? Just even this out, make it look a little nicer. Hutch, man. I'm liking you more and more every day. After last episode when I saw you kill that rat and eat it. That it was sweet. Mm. Exotic goods trader. Well, I haven't been able to trade for much yet. I don't really have much to offer. Um, so, if nothing else, it's a chance for uh, <laughs> Mo to screw up relationships but increase his social skills some more. Alright, Mo. Time to trade with Sissy. Ooh, what you got for me? Don't want gazelles. I could sell off some fine meals just to make some money. I've got plenty of meat. Let's do that. You know what? Bam. Make me a little bit of silver there. I usually like to buy um, components in plasteel every chance I get, but I just don't have a whole lot of money. Let's see what else we got here. Um, so what I might do might do. What I'm going to do is pick up some plasteel because I know I'm going to be needing that. Can I afford 30? Oh, that's rough. I hate going that low on money, but I don't want to pass up the opportunity to pick up some plasteel. I'm going to need to pick up some gold too. All right. Now that I'm broke, oh, I got one almost done here. So let's see here. Um, let's put some doors in. And then we'll do some vents. Oh, I can't do it with the wall there. Um, wow, that was quick, man. As soon as I asked for it, they built it. I like that. Um, oh, a group of alpacas. Well, welcome. Why don't you come into the pet area? Um, you know, I think I'm going to leave the warg running around because he can just go out there and kill whatever he needs. I'm not so worried about him. But at least now I'll get some wool that I can uh, sell or use to make some stuff. Alright, I'm going to put a double bed in here. This will be our first private bedroom. We might as well just get that one started. Um, let's put a lamp in here. And a pant plant pot. Alright. And do our lamp right here. And we'll call that good for now. Wow, Mo, you're fast. You are on it. Look at him go. There's my alpacas. Hi, guys. Kind of wish I could name them. I know that uh, they're given a name if they, like, nuzzle somebody enough or something like that. Um, but uh, I'd kind of like to actually be able to just straight up name them. All right. So F Felix and Dev can take the first room together. Dev and Felix. There you go, guys. Finally some privacy. I know you really like Mo, but come on, that's a little, a little weird. All right. We're looking good, making some progress. Um, you know, 
since I've got two bedrooms there and a, another there, now my people won't have to share rooms, so that should help a little bit with that debuff. Now let's build some power down here. But then I think I'm going to... Let's go here. And I think I'm going to start to working a little bit on that freezer. Dig it back a little bit more. Uh, let's, in fact, let's do this. I know I want it 12 by 12. Boom. All right. Look at them all cozy in their nice new bedroom. Too bad it's a filthy mess. But hey, whatever, guys. Yeah, that's that's really nice to not have the slept, you know, didn't sleep alone or whatever it's called uh, that debuff. So her <laughs> her mood's definitely up here. Yeah, nice job, Felix. You the man. Yeah, on screen fist bump. Bam. Slaver from the White Mesa people. Hmm. I mean, you know, I've never actually bought... Oh, what happened, Hutch? Oh, you poor guy. Here, let me, uh... I gotta build you a, a bed. Um, where should I build it? You know what? Let's build it in here. Then, uh, once the heating and cooling's going, he'll, uh... He'll be able to lay in there. But now that that's built, hopefully he goes down there. Yep, and then Dev... Yeah, way to treat him. We like Hutch. He's a good, good guy. All right, Mo, let's destroy our relationship with these guys by letting you talk to them. All right, yeah, I've never bought a slave. Not that I could afford it now. Um, it's funny, a possum. <laughs> I mentioned one of those earlier. Um, man, I'd like to buy those components, but I better not. All right. Nothing from those guys. Yeah. Hutch is fully healed. Phew, good. Nice. I'm guessing you were over here fighting with a deer, and then you ate it. That's just awesome. That makes me want a warg pet at all times. Just, you know, he can just run out and kill stuff to eat whenever he wants. I thought I'd try him thinking, oh, he can probably haul a lot and, uh, you know, he's not going to get attacked and killed because I've had that happen before um, where just some random animal finds my little puppy and just slaughters him. And then I feel guilty as we're all sitting around the dinner table chow chowing down on our, on our colony pet. <laughs> but, you know, you do what you got to do. Don't want to let that meat go to waste. Oh, two degrees Celsius. I'm having a hard time. Is it because of the power? No. Now it's down to zero again. Hmm, it did heat it up as the people are going out. I, I think I'm going to double up the walls there. That might help some. You know, that's one thing I don't know if it even lists. Yeah, I don't know if there's a difference. Um, you know, I had read your freezer, you know, you want to double up the walls so that you don't lose as much. Uh, uh, cool air um, but uh, what I'm not sure about is if there's a difference of, of temperature loss with wood versus say you know marble or limestone or something like that um, that's, I'd be curious to find out if there is um, it's definitely not a stat that they've they've put in just in-game information that I've seen right Oh, I like that. More components, please. Um, we still have no blocks. Who did I say was going to start working on that? Um, Felix. Felix, how, how come you haven't done that yet? Why are you digging? I have my mining, your mining turned up too much. 
Sorry. There it is. That's what we like to see, Felix. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? You're already in storage. Just drop it on the floor. And it kind of helps clean up the area around, too. I like that. Um, and that... I think what I'll probably do... You know, I could just use this area as dumping area for chunks and then kind of expand inward and this way and have like my production area somewhere over here with my stone cutter so you can just step out grab the chunks and step in you know what instead of talking about it why don't I just do it wow, what an amazing novel idea all right so let's do you know let's leave a little space for some more solar let's do that you don't need any corpses. Chunks is fine. You don't want weapons. And that won't matter. Alright, there we go. So now I can actually mark some of this stuff for hauling to get it out of here. Um, and then eventually have my stone cutter closer. Um, right now he'll just grab what's close to him over here, even though there should be a collection over here eventually. But let's get the stuff all out of here. I'm not positive, but I believe that the, the beauty of the bedrooms isn't going to make much of a difference. Because as soon as they go to sleep, it locks their needs. And then when they wake up, as soon as they walk out the door, they don't won't have the cramped space or, or you know dirty room or whatever uh, debuff. Um, but I want them to walk out into a really nice hallway that's clean and decorative so that they immediately get a mood boost as they walk out um, through here to go get their food and start their day. Um, I don't know if that's the smartest thing, but again, I'm going to give it a shot because uh, I haven't tried that before. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Whew, went right away. I like it. Okay, so since I have that going, I'm just going to go ahead and dedicate this as a prison. Um, I think I'll just keep this as a guest room. I might change it up a little bit, um, but, you know, screw those guys. I don't care if they're cramped. Um, but I do need to start thinking about a hospital room as well. Um, but, you know, that might be something I worry about later. Um, so now that I've got some limestone blocks... I'm going to go complete this room. I'm actually going to replace these walls so that the the hallway that the, we want to be nicer is lined with uh, lined with uh, limestone instead of regular stone, so that I get the the um, don't get the the hit on the overall beauty that just regular stone uh, or not stone, but you know mountain side gives me. Mo minor break. Yikes. Hideous environment. What, what are you doing, Mo? Mo, come on now. I just gave her a bedroom with Felix, and you're already trying to hit on her? Dude. Maybe you are a little way strange that way. Ooh, he likes bionics. Yeah, that's a long way away. In fact, it's so long away, I don't know if it'll happen, because I've never actually done bionics before. Um... I can definitely give him a table down the road. I hate this. I just feel bad for no reason. It's like, dude, come on. I suppose we all have those days. Alright, let's extend this zone. Now we've got a nice size freezer. I'm going to go ahead and surround this. Maybe that'll help the temperature just a little bit. Hi, guys. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Never did work on that. 
any clothes. But I don't have any tattered clothes warning yet. So right now I think there's more important things to to think about. Um, let's set this up. Build our... Uh, where do I want to put it? Oh, I'll put the wall there. I'll put the door there. And I'll put a cooler there. Okay. It always seems strange to me to have a cooler and a and a heater right next to each other. I suppose that'd be like central air in your home. Um, just decide the temperature, what's going to be running or something. I don't know. Ooh, a ram. So where's he at? He's going to be coming for me, and he's going to be coming up here. So let's get some people ready. Dev, sorry. All right. Get him, get him. All right. Dev, you start retreating. Felix, come on. Come on, Felix. Mo. Kill him. You got to you got to stick up for her, man. There. <laughs> oh, you the man. I take it back. Maybe you should be uh, cutting in on Felix's turf and get Dev after you. Is that bad of me? Yeah, I suppose it is. All right, you go rest. Mo, you're awesome, man. You are awesome. Go back to constructing that. Felix, why don't you... Uh... You know... Now that he's knocked out, let's see here. That's pretty good. I heard something, and I think I might try it out. I heard that if you rescue... So we'll have Mo try this. Mo, you rescue this guy. Oh, Felix is already getting him. Felix, you rescue him. That if you rescue him, and you put him here, and then you heal him up um, until they only have one uh, one thing not healed, then you can stop and then euthanize him. And evidently, euthanizing him gives you a ton of of uh, medical experience. Um, so I, yeah, what the heck? He's sitting right there, and you know I'm gonna eat him anyway, regardless. I might give that a try, um, but I'm going to have to try that in the next episode because we are out of time. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll come back for the next episode. You take care.